Okay, as always, we need to see what key are we in, so I'm going to play the first few measures, and it sounds like this. Okay, so it sounds we are in A major, so I'm going to write it down. Now A is the one, and here G is not from a major key, but it's from A minor. But we have the D after the G, that it is the fourth. Okay, so I'm going to write, this is the fourth. So this is a flat seven, but when we have a flat seven and then we have a four, it's not a flat seven, but the fourth of the fourth, okay? So it is like this. So A is the one, G again, the fourth of the fourth, and D is the fourth. And now here on the verse, it's the same thing. G is the fourth of the fourth. And D is the fourth. A is the one. G is the fourth of the fourth. And D is the fourth. Now here we have A, G again is the fourth of the fourth, D is the fourth, and now we have E is the five, and G here it is the flat seven. So from G to the A, we have a modal cadence from A minor. So I'm going to play this whole part starting on the 5, and it is A. from the G to the A. So now we have this other section and it is A, F sharp minor, C sharp minor, and E. And one more time, A, F sharp minor, C sharp minor, and E. So it's like a bridge. A is the one, F sharp minor is the six, C sharp minor is the third, and E, and E is the five. And here it repeats and here it repeats the same thing. And here we have the chorus. I'm going to play it. A C sharp major, F sharp minor, and D. One more time. A C sharp major, F sharp minor, D. And now we have a over E and E. Okay, 
So A is the one and C sharp major is the secondary dominant of F sharp minor. So it's third secondary dominant. This is not very used. We generally use different secondary dominants, but this one is from the third to the sixth. And then D is the fourth. And it repeats the same thing. <clears throat> here and here okay and now a over e is a one on six four and then we have e that is the five. Remember, the one on six four is like a dominant with two appoggiaturas, and then it resolves or not. This time it does on the five, okay? And then we have a double bar, so the song starts again on the five and it repeats everything till here. And now we have a very big dominant, so everything is a five and it goes back to the chorus so I'm going to copy this whole thing and we have A is the one C sharp is the third secondary dominant going to the six and then D is the fourth repeats three times and then we have the one on six four and the E that is the dominant okay now it goes back to this part this bridge part A is the one F sharp minor is the six C sharp minor is the third and E is the five okay and same thing here going to copy this and e is the five it has a different rhythm here I'm going to play this one time from the 45 it's A F sharp minor C sharp minor and E sharp minor, C sharp minor, and E. These are quarter notes triplets, so it sounds one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? So now here we have the chorus again, I'm going to copy this part, same analysis. And one more time. And there's a whole big dominant from here to the end. And it finished on the one. Okay. So now we're going to take a look to the form. And it's the introduction. This is the verse. I'm going to call this one A. Here we have a bridge. And now we have the chorus.
this is the big dominant and here we have the curse again here is the bridge and the final course here till the end and it finished with this giant dominant okay so that's the whole song that's it for today don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell Follow me on Instagram at Max Neil Guitar. Give me a thumbs up and share the video. And please leave a comment too. Thanks for watching.